Hi, welcome back to Waxing On uh, Friday and we're going to continue on with classic rock. This time we're looking at a band that had appeared at Woodstock, which coincidentally next week will be the anniversary of Woodstock. Uh, happened 1969, New York, August 15, 16, and 17. Uh, a lot of great bands came out of that, and a lot of them had been pretty well established before that, but a lot of them, it was a springboard for them, like Joe Cocker. First appearance in uh, North America, and things kind of just took off for him from there. And this band is Jefferson Airplane. San Francisco band uh, put together in the mid-60s. And by the time Woodstock came along, they were enjoying a lot of success. I'm just going to read some of the festivals they were playing at that time, just to give you an idea. We had, uh, well, let's see. Monterey Pop Festival, 1967. Woodstock in 69. The Aldermont Concert in 1969. The first Isle of Wight Festival in England, 1968. Uh, two big hits for them. Somebody to Love and White Rabbit. And if you don't know much about the band, probably more people are going to know those two songs. Now, playing Woodstock, well, let's just see. They were slated for Saturday, but it turned into Sunday morning. Now, Woodstock, I think it started about midday on Saturday. Saturday ended at 10 o'clock Sunday morning. Can you imagine? Their uh, set time for the airplane to be on was 8 a.m. till 9.45. Can you imagine getting a band, a little or a rock band or any kind of band, together at 8 o'clock in the morning, being ready to play? And these people have been listening to music all night long. They had a bit of a break in there, but they're you know, back in, and this is the music from that. The album we're actually looking at here is the uh, Jefferson Airplane, Woodstock, Saturday, August 17th, 1969, and it's the set they played at the festival. Now, what's that set include? Well, it includes uh, Other Side of This Life, Somebody to Love, the big hit, three-fifths three of a mile in ten seconds, won't You Try, slash Saturday Afternoon, Eskimo Blue Day, Plastic Fantastic Lover, Wooden Ships. Now, I'll come back to that in just a second there. Uh, Uncle Sam Blues, Volunteers, The Ballad of You and Me, and Pooh Neal. Look up who Pooh Neal is. It's got a combination of Winnie the Pooh in there and, you know, something else. We've got Alice in Wonderland mentioned with uh, one of the songs coming up here, too. Come Back Baby. White Rabbit, yeah, that's the Alice in Wonderland uh, reference, and the house set Puneel Corners, and that's their set list. Now, the band for this period, uh, let's see who we've got. We've got um, Marty Balin on vocals, Paul Katner on guitar and vocals, of course, Grace Slick on vocals, Jorma Kettleman on lead guitar and vocals, Jack Cassidy on bass, Spencer Dryden on drums. Now, surprisingly, Quite a lineup they had at the festival. I did find a thing that listed out how much they got paid to be there. Can you imagine? Remember, this is 1969, so things are a little different. Um, Jefferson Airplane, 7500 bucks for the gig. Now, you may say, well, that's not too bad. But, I mean, you've been, we've got to cross the country, get everything set up. This is my payout is 7500 Top paying act for Woodstock, Jimi Hendrix at $18,000 for the gig. Wouldn't go far today. Some bands like Joe Cocker, he made 1375 bucks for being there. Sean and uh, Santana, $750. Come on. Uh, Grateful Dead, 2500 the same as what Country Joe and the Fish were making. Same as the Incredible String Band. And I mean, now, granted, it's early in the Grateful Dead history, but I mean... Boy, the prices on here is just wild. The, the Who, 6250 bucks. Anyways, that's the, the rundown on the cash, the rundown on the list, the rundown of who's there. But the key thing here is it's that whole set. What happened that morning from when they came on stage to when they ended, it's a live uh, event. Not like a live concert, even in a concert hall we're hearing. I mean, this is a live festival recording. Some great tunes, 
in a venue unlike any other out in Yasker's farm, man. And there's just a whole kind of different energy to it and a whole different excitement. And if you look through, there's a lot of these albums have been released. Joplin's got one. <coughs> Excuse me, Jimi Hendrix. These bands have released albums of their Woodstock performance, which to me are a great piece of history. A lot of them appeared on the albums. Uh, the soundtrack from the movie didn't include some of these bands. It did not include uh, Airplane. It didn't include Grateful Dead. Uh, you know, they didn't get into the final cut. There was a second Woodstock uh, released album that had a few more of the bands in it. But these albums are great because it is the whole set that that band played. Same with the Joplin one. It's a great one in there, although I don't remember Joplin didn't make the, the first cut either. So we're coming into the Woodstock Festival. We may do a couple of shows next week about that still, but I wanted to kick it off with um, Airplane because we really haven't talked about Jefferson Airplane before on here, and they were a major band back in the 60s. And this is a good place to start. A good variety of their big hits to hear what they sound like in concert, and just the excitement and energy of the Woodstock Festival. So that's it for Friday. Something to kick off your weekend, a little bit of live music with the Jefferson Airplane. Hope you all have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Till then, everybody take care. Stay safe. Thanks for stopping by.